Hey guys and welcome to the people out there and today we have the studio series Rhinox from Transformers Rise of the Freaking Beast and yeah as I mentioned in my previous video I got a studio series for myself this is my first ever studio series as a Voyager class okay let's let's jump into the Packaging, packaging, packaging review. So you can see Rhinox inside here. Let me turn on the light. As you can see, you can see Rhinox inside. And then, God damn it, the trains. And then we have TT, or Takara Somi. Of the Autobot Generations and then we have Transformers Studio Series 103 Rhinox with the Maximal Symbol ages 8 and up by the Hasbro and then to the side we have again Studio Series 103 we have the Beast Mode, the Beast Mode, the Voyager Class. At the back, we have some description about the figure. We have the Robot Mode and the Beast Mode. And then we have 29 steps. We have a description. It says, Ryox charges onto the scene to protect the maximum way from intruders. Was that? Did that happen in the movie? He barely spoke. You only had one line in the movie. God damn it, that was my one of my few gripes about the movie that Rhinox didn't, you know, speak at all. He had like this one line. Even that is still under debate whether Rhinox, you know, stole that or was that Primal. You know, he said, we, we clear the way. But it looked awfully a lot like Primal, but I'm not sure. But okay, there we go. We have the box. We have the art for the robot form. It looks menacingly menacing. Uh, the authentic transformers again the autobot symbol and then at the top it's a bit dusty because i got this a few weeks ago transformers rise the beast the bottom we have this and all right i guess it's time to get this boy out of the baggaging in three two one all right so you might be expecting the figure but no you're straight going to go into the Gripes, which is again this plastic. Oh lord, if you guys watched the channel before, uh, you would know how I despise this plastic thingamajig to tie in the figure. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, it is what it is. I'm alright, it is what it is, but but check it out. We have the figure and they gave a stand a background stand thingy which also came with this this is pretty cool i assume you can just open up the thing yeah and the box and then the best part of it is transformers revenge of the fallen oh my god didn't know rhinox was in revenge of the fallen <laughs> god damn it I mean, yeah, it's, it's a meme at this point, but all right, I'll take it, I'll take it. But yeah, I know you guys are here for the figure, which is the Rhinox. Okay, let's, before we get to the main figure, let's check out, oops, let's check out the hammer time. Okay, you know, I thought the hammer would be a bit longer. It looks a bit smaller, no? A bit shorter. So I've seen videos, let me just get this guy yeah, focus, but yeah, I thought this guy would be a bit longer, but it's, it's alright, it's alright, looks fine, looks fine to me, not much, if I believe this thing will shoot missiles, and then it falls, so you can place on the rhino, when it becomes the rhino mode, but yeah, okay. Now oh, let's check out the articulation for the figure. So the head, I did some tests, you know, drive, but the head is super tight. Why? Why are you super tight? I just want to turn your head. Oh, the 
where you go oh lord but you can look up a bit down a bit left to right it's not much of a hit articulation unfortunately but for the arms we have a full digeratos anampulo degrees sutrans and then can go up like this and then it can also turn the 160 degrees ooh 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 what is it? that broke did it, it, it came off i think so it came off my shit i uh, think so it came off i think so it's part of the transformation but but you get you get the idea you get the idea right so yeah then mm, this thing also moves the hands also move 360 degrees all right then I just, let's close this thing up before i where, where are you supposed to plug it in here i see okay Ooh. I accidentally came off okay now mind then it's okay so it's for the legs okay this 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 uh, common kundi will come out common is like a like an underwear basically i oh, know that's that's a word for it i'll just drop the word there you know and then these things they are soft plastic which is okay that's nice i'm not gonna lie and then for the kalu the legs you can split like this and to go to the front like this and then the back also like this same here like this you got to bend the knee bending things like this and then the ankle pivoting like this i think so is part of the transformation so and then it just go down like this so yeah it looks super poseable though like i tried some posing i'll drop some pics pic, pictures later but yeah it looks kind of dope and then yeah i can do a full 360 on the hip because mainly for the transformation i believe but yeah hmm now let's uh, this thing goes right here it's a bit loose so if you want to you have to bring it all down like that yeah now it looks good yeah it looks nice i like it very much let's do a back there you see this is the rhinos rhinoxus rhino tail i believe the chucho part will be here i think so you need to fold it um i'll check it out it's kind of break it but yeah overall it's good it looks good yeah of course it needs a bit more pain but for a figure that comes like this i say it's not bad it's not bad i like it oops sorry but yeah uh now let's oh it's one thing i noticed that the joints are a bit loose i'm not sure why but they're a bit loose hopefully i can think something out but but the joints on the legs are loose but the head super tight i don't know why I know bummer to be honest but yeah so yeah now let's see this guy in its rhino mode three two one and we are back after a tedious transformation process and i almost broke the figure because i couldn't understand because this, this brain of mine couldn't understand the transformation but finally we are here with the rhinox in his rhino mode so uh it's it's all right i like the head sculpt i like the mechanism where the horn is you know, hidden inside the head you have to split open and then you have to pull it up and then the mouth moves the head moves up and down a bit and then let's take a closer look there we go as you can see So yeah, it uh, looks nice. No, it doesn't look that bad. And then the, the kibble, you can see. Bole bole chala. And then the arms. The arms, I mean, the, the front legs, it looks weird, you know. Because I prefer if I've rotated the spikes facing 
I don't know, outward like this, but it says it's supposed to look like this, but who am I to question? Who am I to judge? And then the hammer, it's supposed to turn into a missile rocket launcher thingy by folding it this way, and then you choose cho him that peck hole on the top, then voila, there you go. So you can just, but, but, I have something even better. Rhinox suit gun. Oh shit, you see, you see, this is this. Yeah, what are the hype things are, but unfortunately I can't, but there we go. You have this gooby wooby on top of another gooby wooby. Let's go. Rhinox suit the gun. Oops. Not a given. Please review. Let me review, please. But yeah, you use saw that thing, right? There we go. And voila. We have Rhinox suit the gun. So you have the tail, what's up the nose, put it anywhere you like. It's not bad. It's not bad. Overall, it's a nice looking, decent looking figure. And there's nothing much I can say. That's bro. Okay, good job. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And in that, I would like to end this video. Nandri Vanakam, Terima Kasi, and see you.